West End star Sean Escoffrey and English soprano Laura Wright have both performed on Songs of Praise before, but this is their very first trip to Jerusalem. For many people coming here to Jerusalem, uh, it's the highlight of their life. Has it had an effect on your Christianity, would you say? Oh, most definitely. I mean, I've dreamt about coming here, you know, so to kind of walk in the, the, the footsteps of Christ and all the kind of the prophets and knowing that things I've been reading about for years. It's quite surreal, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is really quite overwhelming. It's, it's wonderful. Has it brought it to life for you, though? Absolutely, yeah. I think you talk about that storytelling and mm. something you grew up with as history as a child and then to see it come to life. Like you say, it's something that you can't quite believe. Mm. And we just feel, I think both of us feel so lucky to be here and to be singing such beautiful music. Now the resurrection story, as told in St John's Gospel, read by Laura Wright and Sean Escoffrey. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance. So she came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved, and said, they have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we don't know where they have put him. 
So Peter and the other disciples started for the tomb. Both were running, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent over and looked at the strips of linen lying there, but did not go in. Now Mary stood outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white, seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. At this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize that it was Jesus. He asked her, woman, why are you crying? Who is it you are looking for? Thinking he was the gardener, she said, sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned towards him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said, do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to my father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them I am ascending to my father and to your father and to my God and to your God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news. I have seen the Lord and she told them that he had said these things to her. We knew he was dead. It is finished, they said. We had watched as his life just ebbed away. Then we all stood around till the God took him down Joseph begged for his body that day It was late afternoon when we got to the tomb wrapped his body and sealed up the grave So I know how you feel His death was so real But please listen and hear It was his voice she first heard Those kind, gentle words Asking what was her reason for her tears And I sobbed in despair My Lord is not there He said, child, it is me Just in G 